Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Continuing on with variable manipulation, today we are going over how you can define a variable such that it is a fixed width and will only hold up to a certain number of characters. So, this program goes over how you make a variable hold only up to x characters starting from the left. And what that means is that you define a variable with a certain size, say for example, five characters wide, and if you try to stuff something into it that is eight characters long, it will only take the first five characters, the five characters on the left. Everything else it will ignore. And if you enter less than five characters, the variable itself is still five characters long. That is, when you print the variable, the value of that variable will take up five characters. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Well, if you can make your variables a fixed width, that helps you to print out tables that look good. So in other words, it allows you to format your output. And this is what we do. We use the typeset command with a dash capital L for left justify. And X in this case just means whatever size you want the variable to be. And then you would give it a variable name after this. So here is our example typeset dash capital L 10 space last name. So this defines a variable called last name and it will be 10 characters wide. Now you can't define last name somewhere up above and then later on say you know what I want it only to be 10 characters wide and have it take its input from the characters on the left. You have to use this typeset command when you define the variable. So this creates a variable that is up to 10 characters wide. It is 10 characters wide, but no more. If you try to put in more than that, the variable will ignore it. And here is our example. After we have defined our variable last name being 10 characters wide and only taking the characters from the left hand side, we try to stuff into it 12 characters. And hopefully when we run this and we issue this print statement, hopefully last name will just have the first 10 characters. So what this print statement does, it's just going to print the value within last name and then print a colon afterward. And the reason why I put that there is because I wanted you to see how much room the value within last name takes. Now, after this, Let's try to redefine last name. Let's try to put another value into it. So we are going to set the value within last name to just be 12. Here's our statement. So this right here is less than 10 characters. However, when we print last name again, what's going to happen? It's going to print the 1, 2, and then print eight more blank spaces and then print our colon. So this right here is just to show you that last name will have a fixed width even if you put less than the allotted amount of characters into it. Now let's run this and as you can see when we try to cram in 12 characters into the variable last name, it only took 
the first 10 from the left hand side, and then afterward it printed the colon. Afterward, we set our variable to 12, and we printed last name out again, and as you can see, it printed 1, 2, and then it printed 8 spaces, and then it printed the colon. When you define a variable with the typeset dash capital L number space variable command, it will set the width of the variable equal to that number, regardless of whether you put more characters in than it can handle or less characters in than it can handle. And once again, format is typeset dash capital L, a number, and then a variable name.